We're here at the launch of Game Based Marketing, and uh, we're here with one of the co-authors. And uh, wh wh what is this book about? So I'm Gabe Zickerman. I'm one of the authors of Game Based Marketing, and uh, the book is really the first look at how companies, large and small, use game mechanics uh, to create and engage their community. So things like points, badges, levels, and challenges, and how those things come together to create a system of loyalty. Where'd you get the idea to write this book? Um, well, I have uh, been in the games industry for a long time, and uh, you know, one day I sold my last company in 2005, and uh, you know, one day I sort of woke up and realized, like, I love games and I love games as entertainment, but uh, there's something kind of there's a bigger story about games that has yet to be told, and that story is really how games change, uh, you know, people's behavior and how it influences people's behavior. So I really sort of started to talk with people at conferences and events, um, you know, about how game mechanics changes behavior, and that led into you know a series of kind of offers to write a book and then I thought oh, I should write this book so I wrote the book. Awesome. Cool. And um, if there was one thing to take away from the book going forward in in sort of game based uh, marketing, Foursquare being huge right now for example. Four squares are what what what's gonna what what's next? Well I, you know I think the biggest takeaway from game based marketing and the concepts we talk about in the book is really that you know the world is becoming an increasingly gamified place. And that is to say that points, badges, levels and challenges are gonna become part of the currency of all kinds of apps. Foursquare is really the tip of the iceberg. And in the future you'll probably see um, you know, apps ranging from you know finance all the way to you know cars and uh, you know health and fitness and the government, you know, including these game mechanics in them to create and shape consumer behavior. Is there going to be a backlash in the future where people get tired of playing games and, and just want something? You know, they, they don't want to be in a game. They just they don't want to buy a car that's part of a game or or check into restaurants anymore. They just want to go to a restaurant. I, I always love the like points backlash question because. To me, you know, the notion that there so was. So you're calling me a cliche no, question. No, uh, no, I, no, you're not a cliche. Even the deep V neck t shirt was not a cliche. Um, <laughs> no, I, I think the, the question of point fatigue and check in fatigue is a great question. I don't think that it's sustainable, you know, forever to have every single, you know, application provide points and levels, but we're very, very far away from a future in which there's total, like, game mechanic saturation. We're a number of years away from that, and I think a lot like frequent flyer programs, and airlines, you know, right now it would be impossible to launch an airline that didn't have a frequent flyer program. And similarly, points, badges, levels, challenges, and other game mechanics are just going to be essential parts of all kinds of apps. All right, thank you very much, Gabe. Sure.